Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Will Beats Games. I'm Will, and today I'm presenting an update to my PS3 collection. Over 30 new titles. Now, if you haven't seen my PS3 collection, this one is basically the continuation. Again, as we go along, I'll be showing the Metacritic score and the value from price charting. So sit back, relax, and let's get right to it. Alright, so we ended the collection at 257. So we're gonna start at 258 with Ace Combat or Soul Horizon. This is basically a spin off from the Ace Combat games. This one reminds me a lot of Afterburner from back in the days. Check this one out if you never played it. And next we got Blur by Bizarre Creations. That's the same team that did 007 Bloodstone and Project Gotham Racing. Now this game right here is what you get if Need for Speed and Mario Kart did the fusion dance. It's fast paced and it's super fun. Alright and at 260 we got Brutal Legend by EA Games. This game is voiced by Jack Black and it's almost like a hack and slash game. It's pretty fun. It has music from Motorhead and Lemmy is actually in the game as well. Next we got Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Now this game right here is very similar to God of War. It's like a hack and slash beat em up and this game actually got a pretty decent score so I can't wait to try it out. At 262 we got Catherine by Atlas. This is the same team behind Persona. Very similar art style. This game is pretty trippy. It's like a visual novel mixed with a puzzle game. Trust me, try this one out if you never played it. And next we got Dead to Rights Retribution. Now this is the fourth game in the series, but I heard this one is more like a reboot. You play as the character Jack Slate, and you also get to control the dog Shadow. It's a third person shooter, and I remember these games from the sixth generation. Next we got Dungeon Siege 3 by Obsidian, the same team behind Fallout New Vegas and Alpha Protocol. This is an action RPG, pretty similar to Diablo, almost like that overhead camera view. At 265 we got Facebreaker by EA Sports. This is like the classic arcade boxing game, very similar to Ready to Rumble. But I don't know, for some reason, I heard this one is not that good. And next we got Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7. Great game to play with the whole family. They're games that you could just sit back, relax, and earn some trophies. At 267, we got Hitman, the HD trilogy. So this is basically a pack from the three original games on the sixth generation. Only the original Hitman game that was released on PC is missing. These are classic action stealth games and they're still being released today. Next, we got Medal of Honor Limited Edition. This one was developed by DICE, the same team that did the Battlefield games. Now, I heard this game is not that great, but what's cool is that it comes with a copy of Medal of Honor Frontlines and is right on the disc. And following we got Metal Storm Apocalypse. Now these games right here are badass. They're exclusive to PlayStation. It's more of arcade racer than a simulation and this game is super fun. There's three of these games. If you see any of them, just pick them up. At 270, we got Mini Ninjas by IO Interactive. That's the same team behind Hitman and Kanan Lynch. This game is pretty cool. It's an action adventure game and you're like a little chibi style ninja. Next, we got Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm by Cyber Connect 2. Now, these games are pretty cool. If you're a fan of the anime, these are a must play. 
the animation looks amazing and the game style is pretty fun. And next we got Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. This one is more of the same, but everything is enhanced. More characters, more moves, better graphics. And finally we got Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. Now there's a Ninja Storm 3, but Generations was the third game to come out. And this one is jam packed with characters and the gameplay is super fun. These are a must play if you're a fan of the anime. And at 274 we got PlayStation Move Heroes by Nihilistic Software. This is the same team that did the Conan game and Marvel Nemesis. This game you play with the PlayStation Move controllers and it's the first time they teamed up all the PlayStation mascots in one game. Alright, and following we got Residents of Fate by Sega and Tri-Ace. This is the same team behind Star Ocean. Now this game right here is pretty stylish. It's a strategy RPG and this game is pretty badass right here. Check this one out if you never played it. Next we got Wrecker of Agarus War Zero. Now this game right here is another strategy RPG. Very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics. This is another one that I bumped into pretty cheap, so I had to pick it up. And at 277, we got Shadows of the Dam by Grasshopper Manufacturer. This is the same team behind Lollipop Chainsaw and No More Heroes. This game is pretty badass right here and it's super vulgar. I've been looking for this one for a while now and I saw it for pretty cheap at GameStop, so I had to pick it up. And next we got Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Now this is the Sonic game that everybody hates. When it first came out it was super buggy and I don't know if they ever fixed it but I still want to check this game out when I get the chance. And at 279 we got Starhawk, another PlayStation exclusive. Now this one is like a third person shooter. From what I've seen of it, I definitely want to check this game out. The servers are shut down, but this one has a campaign. And following we got Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga. So this one is part of the Essentials Collection. These are basically the European version of the greatest hits. And since the PS3 is region free, I picked this one up for pretty cheap. At 281 we got Transformers the game. So this one is based off the 2007 movie. And based off the Metacritic score, this one looks like it's not that good. But from what I've seen of it, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe one day I'll check it out. And next we got Time Crisis 4 by Bandai Namco. It's an on-rail shooter and it's a classic arcade title. I wish I still had the light gun for this one, but this game is pretty cool. And next we got one of the best games of the seventh generation, Ultra Street Fighter 4 by Capcom. This was the last Street Fighter game released of the seventh generation. And I see this game actually going up in value after a while. Pick this one up if you get the chance to. At 284 we got Valkyria Chronicles by Sega. This is another one of the early titles from PS3. I have the remastered version on PS4, but I love the art style of these games and uh, when I saw it for that price I had to get it. And next we got Venetica by Rumbox Games. Now this game right here is pretty weird. It's like an action RPG and a lot of people never heard of this game. But I have a feeling this one is going to go up in price so uh, if you see it, just pick it up. And next we got Wanted Weapons of Fate. Now this game right here is based off the movie that's based off a comic book. This one is a third person shooter and it doesn't look that bad. 
I'll definitely check this one out when I get the chance. And at 287, we got WWE 12. Now, this is one of the last WWE games that I needed from this generation. I'm still looking for SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. But this game was the first time they started using the Viper engine. That's why Randy Orton is on the cover. I'm a big wrestling fan, so these games are always worth checking out to me. At 288, we got WWE All-Stars. Now, this game right here, I've been trying to get my hands on it for a while. It was released in 2011, and this one is more like arcade style. A lot of people tell me how fun this game is, and uh, I'm glad that I found it. Alright guys, so there you have it. This has been my PS3 collection update. Over 30 new titles added. PS3 is my biggest collection so far, and uh, there's still a couple of games that I want to pick up. Soon I'm going to do a PS4 collection update as well. I'm also doing a part 3 for Xbox games that you should pick up before it's too late. And my goal is to release my Xbox collection before July 29th. So stay tuned for more pickups, more collections, and more surprises. Again, thanks for the support. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.